Hello, it's February 22nd, and this is a ramble. I used to blog my rambles because I get so many visions through the night, through the day. And I started the absurdities because of these rambles, because certain parts of them are very, very concerning to me, and I'm a very passionate man. I'm, I release my emotions because emotions are us. And over the years, I have found that my truth is not necessarily anybody else's truth. And I have to accept that, and I do. I don't have a problem with that. But as we grow spiritually, our truths change, our beliefs change. Everything about us changes, everything around us changes. Because in a belief, and in a world where chaos rules, there's very few people that keep climbing a spiritual path. They may start. But they don't, they stop. And I never did understand why people would stop something that was so good. See, Christians, they go to church every Sunday. Well, good Christians do. I was raised as a Baptist. And I'll tell you, I revolted something fierce. That religion just wasn't for me. Though some of the beliefs in it are, are, are good and they're strong and I can see how they would be truths. However, the disciplinary actions of a Baptist really, really frowned on today. Because they are abusive. And I'm sure not every Baptist was the same way. Because their truths were different. See, everybody, everybody out here has a truth. And they live it. The only thing is, we end up blinded by illusion and deceit. Those in power give us that illusion and deceit and we're led like wolves to the slaughter. I won't fall into that category anymore. Wolves to the slaughter. You have to think about that for a bit. If you're anywhere between 20 and 40, be aware you're a wolf going to slaughter. Because many of you believe the garbage fed to you. I had a vision last night that was just a remarkable vision. You see, because not everybody in this world is like that. There are light workers all around this world, all raising energy, giving it to Mother, trying to save. Mother Earth, trying to give her the energy to help her save herself. And you got different prophecies from the past that seem to pop up all over the place. You've got all kinds of stuff happening, but nothing is now. And I realize in my channels that timing is everything. You, you really can't describe timing because our timing is totally different. Mankind doesn't know what time is. So we look at all of these different things and we try and figure out what's important to tell you, what's important not to tell you. What can I do to help you? Because if you're spiritual in any way, shape, or form, 
we do want to help people. That's our main objective. To be of service to mankind is the greatest gift we can give. So we try to do that with the knowledge and the foresight that we have. And on a spiritual path, there are so, so many tools that help us along that path. Walking into Mother Nature, that's like the first step. No, I take that back. The first step would be realizing you're a spiritual being and you're not a physical body. But let's look at this. <coughs> Pardon me. Mother Earth is the consort of God. She's all omnipotent and everything else the same as God. So, when we're walking into Mother Nature, it's like walking into God. Yet mankind is insistent, insistent, insistent on destroying it. The 5G network. Wow. You might just well take a laser gun and shoot every animal, every insect, every brain on Earth. That's what it's doing. It's like setting up for target practice. And you got a 99% chance of shooting and hitting your target. But people think, oh, wow, look. I got my little thing going here. Yep, and I can go anywhere and I can do anything at any given time and this is fantastic. And at 30, they're down with brain tumors and they're dead. Wow. Was it that fantastic? See, we're led by corporations and we are wolves set to slaughter. So, it's really your choice. And it's really your truth. The information's out there. It's up to the populace now. You see, because the populace have to take back control. That doesn't mean wipe out the government and all that kind of stuff. The government's got to realize they're there for the service of the people. Not the other way around. It's not for the service of the candidate that gets elected the service of the people that's how the constitution was written in the state for the service of the people and to remind those in power that they are there for the service of the people that's not happened for a while I mean, I, I, I even look at Canada and you look at service to the people. Are you kidding me? A minority comes up and says, I got a bitch. Okay, we'll pass this bill. And the next thing you know, there's a bill passed and you can't do what you're supposed to do. You, you can't do what you've done for 80 years. You can't do, you know, why? Because this person says this is bad and So it's medication. What are we to do? Well, we have a voice. Our actions can tell them what we want and what we don't want. But it can't be a minority group going up there and taking action. People have to stick together. There's power in unity. There's power in oneness. There's no power in an individual. And I learned very young, you know, my grandparents, great arguments with my dad. My mother, she would just sit by herself. And I never really did understand that. I was a little young then, but my mom used to tell me, no, you gotta pick your battles. You gotta know when you're gonna win. 
My grandfather later confirmed that. And he said, now you, you have to pick your battles, Jack. You have to know. Like, don't, don't, don't fight something you can't win. It's a useless waste of energy. And I learned that. I learned that very young. I learned that because, well, you just have to. You pick your battle. That's why everybody's truth is their own truth. My dad was adamant as a Baptist. Grandmother didn't like that one bit. She didn't like it at all. Because she was nowhere as close to being a Baptist. My grandfather used to say, no, she's my wife, I'll stick to her. And that'll be another ramble later on. But that's the ramble for today. Are you a wolf to slaughter? Or do you have heart? Do you have pride? Because if you have heart and you have pride, allow the big companies to run your life anymore. That's it for this ramble. We'll talk to you later. If you like rambles, well, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll have lots. <laughs>